historically my patients after the first day of surgery would still be laying in bed in a fair amount of discomfort. And then he said something to me that was telling. He said, Greg, I've had, I've had a number of orthopedic surgeries in my life already. I just expected my, my fusion to hurt. And the first thing that caught me off guard is he got out of bed to shake my hand. So let's talk a little bit about a minimally invasive fusion and what it is and, and how it differs from maybe a standard fusion. So standard fusion would involve a patient going to sleep and then being turned on their stomach with a rather large incision being placed on the back. Now, a fusion involves actually linking two bones together by packing bone graft and then the bones will heal together through that graft. And the surgery had a great advancement when there were screws that were invented that could be placed into the spine to actually hold it still while it healed. The same way you'd plate a fracture in your arm after an injury you can actually now hold the spine still so it'll grow together. But that involved actually opening up a significant portion of muscle off the back of the spine. And still patients were having a lot of complications as far as post-operative discomfort and infection and, and some of the things that we've described. Now with a minimally invasive fusion, what the advancement has come from is the fact that we can still place these small screws still place our bone graft, but the incisions are much smaller, but also we only have to open up just as much as we need to see to get the job done, as opposed to really having to open up the back widely. That means less disruption to the muscle, less time with the muscle being damaged during the surgery, and it has absolutely revolutionized a patient's recovery. The surgery inside is still the same, but the difference is outstanding because patients of mine used to spend five to seven days in the hospital after a fusion surgery, and now they're routinely going home in one or two. It's just less discomfort, less disruption. We're not compromising anything on the quality of the procedure. We're still doing standard proven techniques. It's just that there's been innovation in how we get there and do our work that's been so revolutionary.